is going to be Santa's favorites. I've been making this cookie for over 30 years and I think it's one of the most delicious cookies. I'm going to make a little bit of a filling first. I've got a quarter of a cup of regular sour cream. None of this light stuff where this is a cookie. And I am going to add to that a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Didn't quite get a half, there we go. And a half a cup of light brown sugar. And that I'm going to just mix up well. Try to get any of those lumps that might be in the brown sugar. I thought mine was pretty smooth, but still a couple of lumps in there. Okay, now to this, I'm going to add one cup of finely chopped walnuts. And give this another mix to combine well. And that is our filling. So I'm going to put that aside while I make the cookie. Now in our mixer, We'll start off with one stick of room temperature butter. It's very important that your butter be soft when you're baking because if it's not, you're going to get pockets of butter and it's just not going to blend very well. So just leave your butter out for a couple of hours. It's not going to go bad. I'm going to add a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla. And we're going to start creaming this on the mixer. I'm going to add one full cup of light brown sugar. And with the mixture off, I'm going to tell you I have two cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in here. Add one egg. half the flour, the balance of our flour, but first I'm going to scrape down the sides because some of that flour gets blown up onto the sides and doesn't get mixed in very well. Now this is not a batter that needs to be refrigerated afterwards, so we will just, when we finish putting this together, we'll just keep going and, well, we'll take a break to clean up, but then we'll just go ahead and start forming the cookies and I'll show you a couple little tricks to doing that too. And that's our batter. Normally when I make this cookie or when I make any of my holiday cookies, this is a single recipe. I make at least two, sometimes three times the recipe um, because I make an awful lot of cookie platters to give away. So I'm going to clean up the decks, get some cookie sheets, and I'll come right back and I'm going to show you how to form these cookies. All right, we have our dough, we have our filling, and we have our cookie sheet. I'm going to show you how to make just a few of them because I don't want to bore you to death by making, you know, sheets of these things. And we're going to make about a one inch ball. These do spread out a little bit, so you need to, you need to have this room on the sheet. Okay, now here's an interesting part about making these cookies I've learned over the years. It's a lot like thumbprints. 
and you, I'm sure you're familiar with all different kinds of thumbprints where you go like this. But what you get when you use your thumb is you get like a trough and then it kind of goes off the edge. And So over the years, I found a mortar and pestle. Here's my mortar, here's my pestle. This is what I use instead of my thumb. And I have a little bit of flour here. I take my pestle, put it in the flour so it doesn't stick. And then I make my indentation. And look at how nice and neat that looks as compared to a thumb that's going to fall off the side. It's okay if a little flour gets into the cookie, not a big deal. And then I'm going to take some of my filling, my walnut brown sugar sour cream filling, and fill each cookie. And as I told you, this is an absolutely delicious cookie. These freeze very well. You can freeze them, put them in a nice freezer, Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer, and you can keep them one to two months, just get all the air out. So I'm just going to continue filling up this cookie, and then I have my oven on at 350 degrees, and I'll bake them. Well, here are the Santa's favorite cookies ready to go into the oven. The oven's on at 350. They're going in for about 10 to 12 minutes. Just a little note, the filling that I gave you for these cookies is actually for a double recipe of the cookie. So either make a double recipe and use all the filling or make half the filling. You can kind of judge it. It's really simple. So into the oven for 10 to 12. Here are our cookies out of the oven. I got 39 cookies. I got to let them cool down until they're cool enough to handle and move, and then we can add them either to our cookie platter or put them in the freezer until we're ready to use them.